Hi, so today we are going to be looking at uh, the impact of elections on the Indian economy, particularly looking at it through a historic perspective. So elections in India have far-reaching consequences affecting not only political landscape, but also the stock markets and the economy. From the Lal Street to the common liberal, everyone experiences a sense of unease during the elections and the periods. But how much influence does the ruling party really have on the future of the Indian markets? Uh, while elections introduce volatility in the short term, long-term effects are primarily determined by the economic reform and policies implemented by the ruling party. To better comprehend this relationship, it is crucial to analyze historical ex examples. So, in 1989, controversy surrounded the Indian government under PM Rajiv Gandhi, leading to a united opposition forming the National Front Coalition. This political change significantly impacted the stock market and economy, resulting in increased volatility and economic fluctuations. Despite su subsequent reforms and anti-corruption measures by the new government, the election aftermath disrupted the market and the overall economy. In 1999, with the assassination of PM Rajiv Gandhi, it further exaggerated the current market volatility. The economy suffered a huge loss in terms of high gross physical deficit, inflation, and limited forex reserves. However, PM Narendra Singh Rao's leadership kind of fixed it all by liberalizing the economy and attracting global investments. In 1996 to 1998, uh, it was a period marked by political instability and the impact of the Asian financial currencies. With three different prime ministers coming into power and the lack of stability, market confidence was at an all-time low. In 1999, the election victory of National Democratic uh, Alliance, uh, led by Atal Bihari Vajpayee, brought a sense of stability back into the market. As a result, uh, where expectation as results were within expectations of the market, the Sensex rallied about 7% and continued in an upward trend. The government focused on physical discipline and economic stability, further restored uh, investor confidence, and leading to a positive trend in stock market and uh, increasing for direct investments. The government fo focused on structural reformation, structural re sector re liberalization, and attracting foreign investments. However, within the next two years, it fell around 50% due to domestic and global factors such as 9 11 attacks. After the 2004 elections, uh, the market lost around 15% in two to three trading sessions as results were not according to the market sentiments. Congress has had formed a government while the market hoped for an NDA government. Uh, after the initial disappointment, the market saw a bull rally till to the late 2007. The global financial crisis in 2008 brought an end to the bull market, but the market started recovering by, in 2009 by the time India went to the polls. In 2009, UPA came back into power. The market gained 17% in a single day, but the second tenure of UPA was filled with scams and markets remained choppy. Uncertainty surrounding policies and regulatory instability further have uh, in hampered investment decisions and economic growth. These factors combined with the impact of global financial crisis of 2008 resulted in an economic slowdown and increased volatility. When NDA came into power again in, with a full majority in 2014, the markets experienced a significant boost in investment sentiments. Reduced volatility with market standard deviation dropping from 17.96% to 9.1% indicated a more stable trading environment. The primary reason behind the positive market response was expectation of economic reforms and the anticipation of stable government under the NDA. Nevertheless, the overall uh, like the, Several factors, including global conditions like high oil prices and weakened Indian rupee, may have contributed to the perceived growth. Uh, nevertheless, the overall impact of the Indian government's policies and market sentiments was instrumental in driving the initial market euphoria, uh, which uh, and reduced volatility. The 2019 election period in India, the stock market exhibited a notable correlation with the political landscape. As elections approach, investors closely monitored the political developments and potential impacts of the economy. The stock market. Uh, experience in a significant upward swing post election with several key stocks indicating indices reaching record highs. This rally was attributed to the expectation of continued economic reforms and policy under the BJP led government. The government's pro business stance and emphasis on uh, initiatives such as making India and infrastructure development were seen as favorable for the markets. So, the analysis of elections of the Indian market and economy revealed that while short term volatility is inevitable during election periods, the long term trajectory is determined by the policies of the government. The ability of the government, whether in the form of majority or coalition, plays a crucial role in instilling confidence among investors. Moreover, the historic trends highlight the importance of policy, continuity, and economic reforms in driving market performance. While elections introduce volatility, the focus should be on the government's ability to provide stability and implement effect measure, effective measures in sustaining the economic growth. Ultimately, informed investors' decisions should consider the broader economic landscape and reforms rather than being solely influenced by the election efforts. Thank you.